So a few weeks ago, I asked for help on what to do with this blank stairway wall. But now I got it done and I did something super, super cute. So without further ado, let's get into it. We are going to just go ahead and start working on this hallway wall. So first taking my frog tape, I'm just taping up, and Ava looks so cute, I'm just taping up the sides of um, the wall that I am going to be painting and stuff. So since it's going to be an accent wall, I don't want to get it all over the place. This was super dangerous. Um, trying to take my ladder on the stairs all by myself, but you know how to do what I had to do. And then of course, protecting carpet, the flooring that everyone loves, am I right? <laughs> and making sure I don't ruin my carpet. So just putting my drop cloths down. As for my paint, so the paint color that I ended up getting was peppercorn and it was so, so pretty as you guys can see. It's kind of like a charcoal, blackish grayish type of color so i feel like it had the perfect contrast um so i was using a roller and then also a brush just so i can get some of those corners and some of those like smaller areas and really this paint rolled on super smoothly i only ended up doing one coat um so definitely a good brand of paint to to use i'll put everything in the description box but like I said, I loved this color. It just had the perfect contrast. It was so, so pretty. It went perfectly with the um, artwork that I had across from it. And I was just very, very pleased. And no, I did not use the ladder to get like the very upper most highest part. I ended up just going, you know, above my like little balcony area and doing it that way or banister area. What is the word? But anyways, taking my brush and getting those edges. Making it work. So what do you guys think about the color? It looks so good to me. Don't mind that, I just added that, but okay. So before letting it completely dry, I like to take off my paint just to identify any areas that had some drippage so that I can correct it if needed. So I took off all the paint or the tape and then I just used this like edger with some of my like original wall paint on one side and kind of brushed it across the edges just so that it was more of like a seamless transition between the two creases of the wall. And this is how everything was looking with just paint. Gorgeous. So next comes the fun part and that's planning out the design. So this was the design that I decided to do. I got the inspiration from Pinterest. So I like to kind of just draw out what my plans are for everything. You can do it digitally or just on a piece of paper. So here I am just marking out and I know, I'm sorry, you guys can't really see, but I'm basically just marking out the lines and the different like angles of things that I will need. So I had an idea of what I needed to cut. So to start off with some of the vertical boards that I needed to place onto the wall, I just marked again using my tape and my level to mark off how much um, I would need to cut off and at what angle. So I just took that piece of tape and put it on my board. This is a great hack. So once I had that, I um, was able to take it over to my miter saw and make that cut as you guys can see there where it was exactly how I needed it in order for it to go exactly with the angle that my stairway was going down because it wasn't exactly like 45 degrees it was a little bit different so that's where the tape comes in handy and taking it on like a one-to-one -one basis from there i just put it up to the wall so because i got this thick of um board they're not going to they're gonna like protrude a little bit off of the wall from the top trim but that's okay so just taking my larger level and making sure that everything is lined up as i want to and then just nailing it in the wall I don't like to use adhesive because I don't like to mess up my walls that much. So I'm using two inch deep um, brad nails and just nailing them in. And I'm not looking for studs or anything. I'm kind of just doing my thing. It was pretty sturdy, but because I'm not putting it in brads, I did uh, nail them at an angle. So they were going into each other and crossing within the wall. So you'll see I'm doing two, 
um, nails right there, that's because I had them crossing each other. So I did that for any instance where I put a nail into the wall. And here I'm just taking this smaller piece that I cut and lining it up perfectly so that the vertical long pieces went all the way to the bottom. So you're kind of just playing it by ear on where you need to fill in gaps where it's going to look the best. Um, Shout out to my mom, she was helping me. <laughs> but then next I moved on to all the vertical um, boards. So really using that same process, lining things up, making sure my angles were cut in the exact angle that I needed it, and then nailing them in to secure it. For all of the areas that had the like diagonal pieces, first I wanted to mark it off with my um, tape and then I put the boards just to kind of see, does that make sense, does that look good? I will say I did make my inner squares a little bit too close to like the corners and to the edge of it, but it's really up to you. You can adjust things as you need, move them out, do whatever measurements. So just doing that process, um, I was just like so happy that a lot of these were um, like measured perfectly for me to nail them in. I didn't have too many hiccups here and there. I had to go back and forth and like adjust my cuts, but for the most part it was moving smooth. So this is where I was saying for some of the inner um, squares, you see how it's kind of like very small. Overall it's minor, but just something to keep in mind. So this is what everything was looking like on the wall prior to caulking and I already mentioned it, caulking was next. And this is not my favorite part, but it does make projects look a little bit more seamless. So adding a bead of caulk on all of the edges, I did need to pull in my mom to help with some of these like hole fills and things like that, just because it will take a lot of time. Um, but this definitely brings projects together and makes it look a little bit more professional. So then I just wipe off any excess. Like I said, grabbing my mom, she was filling some of the nail holes with some of our um, like hole filler and just rubbing everything clean, using a sander, sanding things off along the way, and getting it prepped for us to do the final painting. So again, to prep for painting, using my tape to tape off the sides of the walls that I don't want to mess up with darker paint on them because I'm going to be painting all the edges of these boards as well. I was using the small roller, but um, the hand brush in a little bucket was seeming to work a little bit better just because the finish from that small roller was kind of fuzzy. So we also ended up using just the larger roller as well and that gave a good um, consistent coverage throughout. And then of course, again, taking off the tape while the paint is still slightly wet um, just to identify any areas that need touch-ups, but for the most part we were good and this was the final product. I am personally in love with it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it as well. Um, everyone that's seen it so far has been like, yes, that is a statement piece. So I'm super proud of it and it gives the nice little touch. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, turn on your post notifications. We update it every time I upload and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.